those brief, unsettling moments that separate the waking world from dreams, it is possible to catch a glimpse of the hinterlands. It is an endless forest cast in perpetual twilight, and here, in its center, a ring of trees provides entrance to the holiday worlds of old. Most will take you to lands of delightful whimsy, but one is instead a haunted place, nothing less than the home of every nightmare. Halloween Town. An otherworldly community, Halloween Town's role is to manifest the Halloween holiday across the waking world. It accomplishes this by allowing its citizens to briefly leave the city and manifest themselves in various forms in the presence of human beings, typically children. This is done not out of any malice or desire for some kind of material gain, but rather equal parts enjoyment and a sense of obligation. Without its eponymous holiday, Halloween Town would have no purpose. This is expressed in a continual countdown, marking the days to the next Halloween. Its population is largely heterogeneous, with both physical creatures, ethereal spirits, and even elusive, intangible ideas or feelings dwelling within. These include vampires, ghouls, zombies, and traditional monsters alongside eerie winds, shadows, and the transcendental sensation of not being alone. Anything with the potential to cause unease has a place in Halloween Town. Halloween Town itself is a mixture of nightmarish terror and childlike wonder. It is a warped version of reality with twisted landscapes and structures marked by their sharp angles, crooked perspectives, and impossible proportions. Like its citizens, its architecture and natural topography appears to be emotion, mainly fear, given form. Perhaps the most obvious mystery related to Halloween Town, yet one without any answer, is its relationship to the human beings it haunts. Was Halloween Town itself manifested by human fears, and continually changes to reflect evolving cultural sensibilities, or is it a perpetual, stagnant construct? from which human fears derive. Yet, ultimately, Halloween Town is a kind of ideological city-state, driven by the need and desire to manifest Halloween. While the presence of a mayor would seemingly indicate a governmental structure, it is difficult to determine to what extent any civic institutions actually exist. It is probable that this mayor was not elected by any democratic process, but rather fulfilling the horrific archetype of a two-faced politician. If Halloween Town does possess any expression of executive authority, it likely resides instead in the Pumpkin King, an individual responsible for directing and managing the Halloween holiday each year. Halloween Town instead seems to be ruled by various ideological state apparatuses that inculcate the manifestation of the Halloween holiday as the only correct way of observing and evaluating their reality. Yet, where such apparatus might in human societies express and impose some kind of political order, an ideology that reinforces the control of a dominant class and the repression of others, for example, Halloween Town psychosocial institutions are merely devoted to making Halloween the best holiday it can be. Ironically, it was the Pumpkin King, Jack Skellington, the individual in which these institutions were expressed most prominently, that seemed to recognize Halloween was at least in part the victim of ideological hegemony and thought control. This was the direct result of a type of ideological contamination, in which Jack inadvertently traveled to Christmas Town, coming into contact for the first time with a society that did not revolve around Halloween. Jack's desire to share the concepts of Christmas with Halloween Town would find at first only mixed success, with its residents lacking the necessary frame of reference. Most Halloween Town citizens were merely confused, while some, namely Oogie Boogie, saw Christmas as the method by which he might come to replace Jack as the manifestation of Halloween. Yet ultimately, it was Santa Claus who, in fulfilling his own role as the manifestation of Christmas, gifted Halloween Town with a change of perspective. As snow fell on the city, its residents for the first time in their existence were able to experience something new. The 
The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards. Thank you.